What's up guys welcome back to Raider Nation news I have some updates I want to give you guys first and foremost the biggest most important thing coming out of Raiders camp is our offensive tackle Jared Valdir has torn his tricep okay this was devastating honestly I felt like wow this is his contract year this guy has ever since he was a rookie he's been doing Excellent, excellent job holding down that left side, that blind side of the quarterback. He's, I, I think he's, he was headed to a Pro Bowl season this year. So anyway, I was looking at a couple of articles that had just came out because there's been updates ever since the first initial tear report. So the good news is, now that we're looking back, they're saying that the tear that he had wasn't as bad as Ray Lewis's or uh, Justin Smith from the Niners. Ray Lewis had completely torn the entire tricep muscle from the bone of the elbow. So when they had to do surgery, they had to attach the bone and the muscle together. And they gave him, I think he, he tore mid-October of last year. And within the playoff time, half of the season, he had already repaired it and he was ready for the playoffs. On the flip side, Justin Smith tore it. He tore his 50% or quite more than 50%. The thing with Justin Smith is he played with that torn, that torn tricep. He played all through the playoffs, through the Super Bowl, with a partially torn tricep. After he was done, he went and he had his surgery due in February, and he was, by April, lifting weights. So, you got to think about it that way. He had a worse condition a worse tear on his tricep than Valdir does right now. He had surgery and he was back within two months lifting weights. So it's bad news, but it's also not that bad. I hope that he can pick it up, you know, because hopefully he has got the, some of that Adrian Peterson genetics and he can, uh, he can get back in shape within no time. So that's the biggest news coming out of that. And I also wanted to give you guys a little something, a little secret of mine. That whenever something is not showing on DirecTV, I have DirecTV, or whatever whatever you guys have, Verizon, or Comcast, or what is it called, Time Warner. I'm going to give you guys a little secret, badass website where you guys can watch all your games. You can watch UFC fights, boxing fights, pay-per-view fights, anything you want to watch. So I'm going to show you guys right now. Okay, so this is what you do. You open up your browser. As you can see, I have Google. Then you put unsports.me, okay? Right here already popped up. It goes, I don't know why, it redirects to ilemi.me. That thought unsports was easier to remember. Okay, so once you go in here, all you got to do is drag this down to whatever team, whatever sport you want to watch. I'm going to do this real time so you guys can see exactly what happens. So let's just say the Chicago Bears in San Diego. There's going to be a bunch of links. And first, you're going to see a lot of pop-ups. You just let this first page load. Relax. You see this little white box? They're going to, there's going to be a bunch of these, but you just click this here right here. It's going to give you a, a bunch of pop-ups. Just exit those out. You don't need them. There we go. Okay, and there you go. It's already starting. But they have these little things, so you guys got to be aware. This right here, it's how you exit out of this little box. Or not. Damn it, what the hell. Okay, there you go. And then you get this one. It's just the way that they get they get paid through advertisement. So that's how I, that's why it's on there. So once you do this, you get rid of all that crap. I would suggest you guys hit home or not home screen. I'm sorry. You make it. Uh, wait, wait, wait. See, there's another one here. Look, that's what I'm talking about. You got to make sure. You gotta make sure that you exit all of these little boxes. There's gonna give a couple, a couple pop-ups, but the reason that they're up there is because they want you to like select their advertisement. That's how this website gets paid. 
There's a bunch of links like you guys saw. Now once you clear, you open full screen. And there you go. Right at this point, no pop-up should bother you. And if they do, you know, you just go back and do it all over again. So this is my little secret. I watch UFC fights, MMA fights, oh, boxing fights, any, any pay-per-view, any sports that you want to watch all across the world. You know, soccer, baseball, anything, you name it. And this is current. This is live right now. It's Thursday, August 15th. And you guys can tell right away that I'm watching it right now. So there you go. If you guys have any questions about that, let me know on the comments below. Just a little hookup for you guys in the Bay that, you know, you guys get blacked out games because they don't sell the stadium out. So here's my little secret. And it's a little choppy. I know it's not perfect, but hey, it's free, so you really can't complain. You could pretty, you could pretty much watch the whole entire season like this, but I wouldn't recommend it. It kind of sucks. So there you go. All right, now, like we were talking about left tackle Jared Valdir, this is brings up a very interesting, you know, problem here in Oakland. Now they're moving Alex Barron. He played with the Seahawks. He's played with the Cowboys when he got drafted from the Cowboys. And he's also played with uh, the St. Louis Rams. So this guy is a veteran. He's a proven vet. Uh, they, they're moving him to the left side. I've seen him in some preseason games when he was actually backing up prior. Now, now in, in the right side, they're going to end up going with Khalif Barnes. Menelik Watson is still injured. So we just need Menelik and Watson to hurry up and get, you know, get rehabbed, get back on the field, start pushing for that right tackle spot, or maybe even pushing for the left tackle spot at this point. At this point, you know, we need all the help we can get, especially with linemen. Linemen are very important to what you're doing. This brings up a very interesting thing. Now that we have a problem at the left side, we know that Matt Flynn has problems with pressures. He doesn't notice pressures. His eyes are too down the field, scoping and eyeing out things. So he got sacked and fumbled that last game we played against the Cowboys. So my thing is, this gives all the prior fans that have been pushing for prior, 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 prior. All the prior fans might have a shot of finally seeing more action from prior. I think this is a great thing. The last thing that the last game that I saw from Pryor, honestly saw an improvement in his throwing. His passes were a lot better, crisp, cleaner. They weren't wobbly. They weren't flopping around. All that good stuff. So guys, if you guys feel like you guys have a little something to say on the comments down below, don't don't hesitate to do that. Give me a thumbs up if you guys like the video. And I can't wait tomorrow. Like I said, I give you guys that that website. So tomorrow, if you guys don't get a chance to watch the game. Live, you guys can watch it on um, on that website I gave you guys. If you guys uh, have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Like always, thumbs up the video, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys next episode. Here we come, baby. Just win, baby. Feel the storm of the cold autumn wind.